Alright guys, welcome to my channel. Uh, today we're going to be doing a tutorial on how to achieve depth of field inside of Fusion. Now this was a uh, comment on one of my last videos on camera tracking a while back and I just have not had a whole lot of time to do any kind of video recording. Without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into this tutorial. So as you can see here, I have a 3D scene on my left viewer here and we have the uh, end result right here on the right and I want to add depth of field to this so if we take a look at my nodes down here I have all my 3d nodes right here I have my particle system going on right there and some extra stuff I was playing with right there and we're not gonna worry about that too much but um we'll go ahead and take a look at these 3d nodes here now uh, full disclosure uh, this particle system is from another tutorial I was following uh, I'll leave a link to it in the description of this video. He does cover how to do the depth of field as well and that his is a little longer. I'm just making this video because somebody was asking me in the comments of one of my last videos a few months ago. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into this. So first things first, I want to go over here to my renderer node and uh, you'll notice here render type is set to software renderer. We want to go ahead and change that to OpenGL and down here you have a uh, a little drop down menu called accumulation effects. We're going to go ahead and enable that. And as you can see, we now have depth of field right there. And just make sure that's checked. And there it goes right there. So we have two options here, quality and amount of blur. Increasing the amount of blur is self-explanatory. The higher you crank this up, the more depth of field you're going to get. Quality um, is right now set to 32. And if we kind of zoom in, Right here, it's kind of spotty. It kind of looks like a bunch of uh, brush marks almost. It's not very smooth blur. So we'll just go ahead and fit that back. So we're just gonna go ahead and set that to, let's just say 100. And let it do its thing here. And as soon as it's done, we'll go ahead and move on. Okay, so now that that's set, um, we may crank that up here in a little bit. It takes a little bit of time to calculate it. All right, so once we have this all this enabled and set to what we want, we can come back here to our camera 3D node. And uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, go to control visibility and look at focal plane. And you can see here in this viewport, this green box just showed up. And that is telling us exactly where our camera is focusing. So if we want to change that, we can come up here to our focal plane. And you can see as I shift it around it, the depth of field changes. So let's go ahead and shift it. Yeah, right about there is pretty good. Let's go ahead and come back over here to our, to our quality. And we'll go ahead and set that to eh, 240, see what happens. OK, so it just finished up. It took a little while to render there, probably because I'm doing a screen recording at the same time. And uh, CPU cycles are just uh, barely holding on. So anyway, guys, that is uh, how you achieve depth of field inside of Fusion. I hope this was helpful to you. Just a little quick tip. And uh, if you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you have questions or comments, I'll be, I'll be happy to do my best to try and answer them. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.